Hi, and welcome back to Joel's DIY. Back again with another video. Today, we're going to be unboxing an Xbox uh, Series X. It's not usual that I get something that's brand new in the box, uh, but I do enjoy uh, gaming and I do enjoy the new games that are coming out. So I felt the need to buy one. So today, we're going to unbox it. Uh, I hope you enjoy today's video. I'm also here with a brand new intro. So without further ado, let's get started. when a new console is out like the ps5 or the xbox series x uh, i try to wait a couple of months or even a couple of years before i finally get the console because they are so overpriced at the beginning and when they're brand new the xbox series x to me is a console that offers more bang for your buck and this is why i've decided to purchase it uh, sooner rather than later um, it's able to play the original some of the original xbox games as well as most of the Xbox uh, 360 library and, of course, all of the Xbox One games, which is kind of a major perk. You really don't get that with the PS5. Uh, you, with the PS5, you're starting out with a brand new library. Uh, the Xbox Series X, you do get a chance to play your old games on it, which is its main appeal. Um, and honestly, it's, it's kind of a perfect console for the type of uh, games that are out there today. I, quite honestly, I don't think that, you know, development companies are putting out anything uber impressive that would re would warrant new technology um, that's going to blow, uh, you know, blow your mind. Uh, I think that it, the Xbox Series X is a perfect uh, console just to get all those upgrades as far as resolutions and things like that. Later, I will share some final thoughts uh, to kind of give you perspective of what you're getting with your for your money. So let's go ahead and start with the unboxing. Okay, so my first impressions of the box is that it's definitely a little bit smaller than what I'm used to. But then again, I think it fits uh, the shape of the console. This console is kind of like a tower uh, shape. Uh, so it makes sense that the box wouldn't usually be as big um, as what we're usually uh, used to seeing. I know that the PS5 is quite huge, but uh, there's the back of the box on mine, and there's some explanations about all the different, let me see if I can get that into the frame there. But these are all the upgrades that are being offered with the Xbox Series X. And obviously uh, this is the one that could take discs, so you can Play your old games on there. And there's the front. Definitely not as flashy as the PS5, but definitely very versatile, and I would say more than the PS5. All right, let's get my fancy uh, letter opener. Uh, <laughs> and let's start opening this thing. Okay. You get the the scent of uh plastic and brand new console. There's a little hang tag here. Got some information about all the inputs. Downloading an Xbox app. Interesting. Okay. And then we get, get some padding here. Okay, let's get this thing out of the box. Definitely has some weight to it. Okay, all right, this apparently does not 
come with a controller. I thought we'd be getting a controller with this. Guess not, unless I'm looking at the wrong place. Oh, here it is. Here's the controller, probably. That, that's the inside of the box. Nothing too interesting there. I'm gonna put this aside. <clears throat> All right, let's see what's in the box. Okay, now, there we go. Now we have, so we do get a controller. That's a relief. So there's the controller. It's got the little controller symbol there. And then you get, very nice. I like black controllers. I really, you know, one thing that I've never liked about the original Xbox 360 controller is that it was white and that thing would yellow and get all funky. I, I like that they didn't use a texture. I, I really don't like um, that sticky plastic texture that they put on these controllers, but this controller feels really good. Not too big, not too small. Very comfortable looking. And you get your, for your batteries there. And you do get a set of Duracells. At least that's what I'm seeing here. A couple of Duracells. I'll put this. Actually, I'll put this, take this out and start putting all the, <laughs> the stuff in the box. See what we get in there. We get a manual. We get a special HDMI ultra high speed. This will probably be very pretty useful. You get your plug. And I think that's it. I think there's anything else in the box. Okay, put that aside there. All right. And then the main event so that's the I'm gonna slide this off I guess this is some kind of tag power your dreams okay this is side right there So I will, I will be standing this console upright like this on my TV. There's a good look at it right there. I think it's looking pretty good. So it's, you got all those holes at the top and the vent or whatever. And yeah, that looks like a fan. So that's a fan. There's a drive. You got one USB here in the front, a pairing button, storage expansion. So I have no idea if that's for an SD card. And you got your plugs for your solid state drives. Um, and then your HDMI out. So yeah. Definitely not very flashy, but I think the power that will give my other games, my old games and my new games, is well worth the, the $500 I spend on this. So, and turn this around. So yeah, it's looking good. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plug it in. Uh, I probably won't be showing that on video because I have to set up all my stuff. Um, and uh, I'll come back with some final thoughts. So here are my final thoughts. Uh, I think the console was well worth the money uh, with the upgraded graphics that you get. I could definitely see the difference on how uh, smooth the gameplay was on even the first game that I installed, which was uh, Dying Light 2. Uh, this game, I've actually been waiting uh, for Christmas to start or happen because I was hoping to get the Xbox Series X by then. Um, and I finally got to test it just now, and I am not disappointing at all. 
Uh, my wife even mentioned how realistic it looked. So I'm very happy with the purchase that I've made. The setup was done through the Xbox app, which you can download on your phone. Um, and it's actually kind of neat because you can actually also do remote play from your cell phone. So I think that's pretty convenient. Uh, most of all, I was very happy with the transition from my Xbox One S over to the, uh, the Series X. Uh, all I had to do was plug in my hard drive with the pre-installed games that I had put there, downloads, and backwards compatible games, and right away it detected them. So that wasn't even an issue. Uh, I also tested the 4K player, so I stuck in a, a Blu-ray player, and I got great performance out of that, wonderful picture, which makes it much so much not, so which makes it nice not to have to play a separate uh, 4K Blu-ray player, which some of us have to do if we don't have the Xbox to do it. So in conclusion, I'm very happy that I picked the Xbox Series X over the PlayStation 5. Not saying that I'll never get the PlayStation 5, but for now, I think it'll fulfill most of my gaming needs as far as new titles coming out that are released for both the Xbox and the PlayStation 5. Nonetheless, thank you for watching today. Uh, this video was intended for people that are deciding between the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. Um, and I hope that, you know, this, this video is helpful to help you decide what you're going to go for um, as far as your needs are concerned. Nonetheless, have a wonderful weekend, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.